And there is a Royce O'Neal yeah. sitting down with us right now. Welcome to Brooklyn, Royce. How are you? I'm good. How you doing? Good, good. good. Yeah, up, Patty, Patty says welcome as well. Um, Royce, uh, we, we first have to ask you, how many times did you watch the Brian Windhorst uh, What's Happening in Utah video? Uh, I watched it a lot. Yeah. Uh, and then I was getting tagged in it every day. Um, and actually, uh, I actually did like the pose for it. And it was funny. Me and Donovan have a like inside joke. So, oh, It's great, man. Well, uh, that um, that trade sparked uh, one of the great rants by one of our peers we've ever seen. I wouldn't even call it a rant, more of like an inquisitive monologue. But it also brought you here yeah. to, to Brooklyn, Royce. So when you finally have the dust settled after what was a very you know interesting offseason and we can get more to that and you just see this team now though that is going to be here and we know that what kind of things stand out to you and excite you about this group uh i think just you know how like we're all like versatile and how like guys like communicating and you know want to play with each other i mean I, I mean since we've been playing like open gyms and stuff like that talking to guys seeing how they like playing where they like having the ball and just making making the game easier for each other Royce, what's it been like for you because you look at your story and i know nets fans will get to know it even better but an incredible journey to get to the point where you were at and playing overseas playing the g league what you did with utah but being in the jazz organization and uh coming to brooklyn have an expectation of who you may be playing with what it would look like w what was it like for you watching some of that uncertainty occurring through the summer not exactly knowing what the team may look like uh yeah i mean every day i was getting questions like oh what's going to happen with katie and kyrie and or the team i'm just like like i'm just worried about myself <laughs> i think all that is going to figure out but uh, i mean i think just once everything's settled and you know got the group he's going to have um it felt good and then uh you know i think you know the way guys coming in um how everybody feels and then i think just what happened last year just like for myself personally and then you know whoever is here and then wherever everybody came from i think we all got a chip and want to play royce has what has been kind of the the feeling been like of the group and what are you sensing thus far from the team collectively just in these you know in these practice runs in these early gatherings as far as you know that feeling of turning the page and what cohesion this group can can get to this season i think just everybody being on the same page uh being really competitive and you know helping each other out um i think just you know the way you know as time goes on i feel like we're just going to get better at that seeing how guys you know interact on the court and play hard and then i think just us being collective and being on the same page we're going to go far what have you enjoyed most about brooklyn i know so you're originally from texas yeah. right and then you were at baylor you were at denver you were in utah overseas a couple years right. as well yeah, before everywhere utah. we're spreading you out but so yeah. you're in new york you're in brooklyn right. what's the feel been like for you just uh, initially yeah it's been it's been a great feeling i mean uh like every day I just be like, well, I never, I never spend time like in New York no. like that. And then um, I think just, you Ruko's know. got all the restaurant yeah, recommendations for wrong. you. Okay. Joe Harris. Joe, Joe, Joe Harris. He's, oh, he's yeah, the go-to in the. Yeah. I've Ruko. given Joe some, so you <laughs> might be getting okay. me by proxy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I think just, you know, the restaurants, um, different places to go, um, shopping. Um, I mean, New York is like the mega for it. So, I mean, I think just, you know, interacting with the community and seeing what's out there. You also bring something that this team really needed last yeah. year, and that's, you know, a wing defender who could shoot as well. We saw when Joe Harris went down, that was a void the Nets really never were able to fill. You guys obviously have different games, but when you just look at yourself and your fit on this roster, what stands out to you? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, bring it, being at 3 and D, um, and then just, I'd probably just say the leadership skills that I had, um, being versatile, trying to, like, play different positions, uh, you know, not limiting myself, but just, you know, sticking to my game and just getting better every day, so. What about, you know, that's interesting, Royce, because you were on a team with a couple prominent stars, some other really good players as well, but with Rudy and with Donovan, right? And here. You're going to have a few big stars. You know, Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, these are big stars. Ben Simmons, this is a big star. But you use the word leadership. As someone who's now a veteran in this league, who's been around stars winning teams and knows, okay, this might ultimately be, you know, these guys might be the face of the franchise, but I can still have a role vocally. How do you do that? How do you find those spots and, and lead, even when you're not the Kevin Durant of a team? I think just being that guy that brings, does a little bit of everything. Um, try to be relatable to everybody, you know, 
talk to everybody in a way, you know, that helps them and benefits them and still listening. Um, I think just my situation being in Utah, playing with those guys, I was able to like do the little things and be like the glue guy to like keep everybody <laughs> together. So I think just bringing that and being myself. Yeah, with that being said, what stood out to you, the consistency of with the Jazz organization, you guys get into the postseason, uh, what you did throughout the course of the regular season, what stood out most that you would like to see transfer over here? And, and Kevin and Kyrie were very honest in what they talked about and talked about last season, some of the habits and how they were showing up. What do you take from your time with the Jazz that you think about as you approach this year? Uh, I think just everybody, you know, being bought in. Um, I mean, we're going to have our days where, you know, it's going to be up and down. But I think, you know, just thinking of the long-term goal and, you know, just putting, like, personal accolades and personal agendas, like, to the side and, you know, bringing the team. I mean, I feel like we got everything and more, you know, to do everything. Um, and I think it's just going to be us that stops ourselves. Well, Royce, uh, welcome to Brooklyn. We're all excited to have you. Thanks for stopping by and uh, enjoy the restaurant scene this fall here. All right. I appreciate you. Thanks, Royce. All right. That's Royce O'Neal joining us live. Brooklyn Nets Media Day.